Abhi Sheikh here and in this video I will be showing you how you can very easily set up a github portfolio uh, a place where you can display all of your projects all of your repositories in a nice searchable list where they will be sorted by stars uh, you will be able to see the primary language of those repositories of those projects the number of folks uh, you'll have direct access to the code and if they have a live site then you'll have access to that as well so what you see on the screen is actually this project's repository let me go ahead and open up the code the github page so as you can see this is the repository it's called projects and it basically helps you showcase all of your github publicly listed github repositories in a nice ui right and in this video i'll show you how you can set it up so the first thing you do is come to this link open and you need to have a github account along with a few repositories on your github account and then simply click on fork as soon as you click on fork uh, as i am the owner of this i can't fork it but uh, as soon as you fork it it will ask you what you want to name your project uh, name it anything you want uh, it will be visible on your repository on your profile then simply clone that repository locally right uh, your fork version clone it locally and then open up let me walk you through the steps so open up scripts.js and then you need to change the github username so uh, this repo actually this project actually uses uh, the github api for displaying all of this data so as you can see this is the my current project right so as you can see this has my username so let's change it to someone else uh, let's try the primogen right then we have two more configs of max pages and hide folks so max pages is basically to handle the pagination um, that that github has on its api so for every api call uh, it actually returns only 100 repositories per page right so if you have less than 100 repositories on github you can just set it to one uh, nothing else is needed uh, but uh, i have 210 publicly listed repositories right so for that reason i want to show all of them on my projects page so i have set it to three so it will fetch up to 300 repositories right and so them so yeah uh, and you can change the count uh, based on the number of repositories you want to show then finally we have hide folks hide folks is uh, so if you have uh, folks on your repository uh, on your github profile and you do not want to include them on your uh, project page right if you see for me this particular page doesn't actually list any of the folks that I've worked on, right? This only lists my original repositories. So if you set this to false, then it will start showing the folks as well. So yeah, these are the configs you can change pretty much. So uh, as we change the you are uh, the username already. Let's look at the preview, and I already have the Python server running. Uh, it can run on any HTTP server. I'm just using the Python one. So let's open it up and let's see what Prime has on its on his GitHub. And as you can see, uh, this is Prime's info, his most start repo is Harpoon, then dot files, then in Clua and so on. Right? So as you can see that a bunch of places are listed as null, and the reason is that there's no info added there by Prime on GitHub. So GitHub API just returns null uh, and it's displayed as it is. We are not making any change. Uh, and yeah, well, this is basically it. So you, you also see that we have a bunch of links, right, of for languages. So let's say if I clicked on this Perl language link, it will actually show me all of the repositories by Prime that are using Perl, that have Perl as the primary language. Uh, and this is all, this is done using dev icons. 
So if you come to the bottom of the script.js file, you'll find the dev icons map and it basically has all of the languages uh, that uh, it is currently supported uh, by dev icons and it, it uses a map basically and for some of them I've also configured the colors you can change the color if you want but and if you find any particular language missing here you can simply open up a PR and add the language here as well so yeah uh, that is basically it and other than changing these configs I would uh, ask you to also change the title so right now it shows my github username projects so you can change it to your own github username and also change the favicon currently it's using my uh, website favicon so yeah you can definitely change it and yeah that is pretty much it this site also has theming support so uh, it reads uh, system config if the system is using a light theme it switches to the light theme if it's using a dark one it it switches to the dark one and yeah that is pretty much it uh, it, it will help you set up a github account like a github portfolio super fast like less than five minutes so you just need as i said you just need to fork the repo clone it make these changes commit those changes post them and then simply go to your repository settings so repository settings come to the pages section here you can see the pages section here and then just select your main branch right select deploy from a branch select main hit on save and that will give you the portfolio the project portfolio that lists all of your projects so yeah guys uh, thanks a lot for watching uh, do try to set it up if you like it if you have any suggestions any feedback drop them in the comment and if you have any issues open them up on github if you have any uh, anything that you'd like to contribute, please open up a peer. Uh, always happy to have those. And yeah, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.